Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my living room makeover. Today's video is jam packed but right now on the screen I'm showing you all the before clips of when we bought this house so be sure to check those out because this is going to be a huge transformation in this room. I'm also going to be sharing a lot of like DIY home projects so you can update your space on a really small budget. So let's look at these clips and then we're going to get started in today's video. If you're new here or just haven't clicked that red subscribe button and turned on all notifications, definitely consider doing that today. I've already posted two makeover videos this week. One was a master bedroom makeover. The next one was turning a closet into a kid space and I have lots more coming out. So make sure you click the red subscribe button, turn on all notifications and it'll alert you every time I post a new video. If you are new here or if you're just not caught up, I completely understand. There's been a lot of videos lately. I'm going to go ahead and catch you up right here. So the contractor and his team is gone. So anything they were going to do has already happened. Now it's time for Chase and I to come in. We've got some projects we want to tackle ourselves. It's just going to save us money to hang our own lights and fans and hardware. We're going to paint the fireplace. So that's what we're going to be working on in all of these videos. So Chase is bringing in all the furniture and then we'll start some home projects here in a little bit. Furniture is not easy to find right now. If you guys have been furniture shopping, you know what I mean. Everything's like 12 plus weeks out, but we got super lucky one day. We walked into Ashley Furniture. So if you have one of those in your area, they have a lot more in stock than most places. So definitely run by there and check them out. That is where this sofa came from. We were wanting a leather sofa in here just because it looks even better as time goes on. And we knew it would match the style of the house really well and just the vibe we're doing here. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up and then I'll show you what the chairs look like. Also keep in mind, I'm gonna link as many items that I can find down below my description box. So the rug is from Boutique Rugs. If you use Ash 60, you'll get 60% off anything you order from the site. I don't have any coupon codes from Ashley Furniture. I wish I did because I would have used them myself. Um, even my sweater is from like Amazon today. So like I said, anything I'm gonna find, most of the stuff we order is from Amazon. Just check out those links down below my description box. This coffee table was the very first piece we bought for this house and we actually bought it even before we signed for the house. I was hoping it wasn't going to jinx us and clearly it did not, but I found it on Craigslist for like $25 and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I know the style we're going to be doing for this house. It's going to work perfectly. The size is perfect and Chase ran to Tulsa to pick it up and I'm so glad we did because it definitely like set the tone for the vibe and design of this house. So in this house, I went really dark with the furniture pieces, which isn't like me, but I went so white on the wall. So you're definitely gonna need some type of contrast. If you have more like gray walls or darker walls, you may want lighter furniture. Since I had such like white stark walls and trim, we went with darker furniture, which I also think is gonna work well in an Airbnb, just so if there's like kids climbing on it and all that, it's just gonna be easier to clean and maintain. And it really, really, warms up the space. Oh, 
As soon as we put those chairs out, I knew the pillow. And what was funny is I was down to like two pillows for this living room and I didn't think they were gonna be the right ones. But that pillow matches those chairs perfectly and I had no idea. <laughs> These chairs have been sitting in a box since we bought it. Like we saw them on the showroom floor, but when we picked them up, they've been in a box for like over a month and a half in my garage. So it was just so nice to see everything come together. We also chose those chairs because they're swivel. So if you wanna turn and watch TV, you can. If you wanna turn and look out the window, if you wanna turn to the sofa and have a conversation, this is a really tight, cozy house. So you have to make sure you have furniture pieces that work for you. And since we couldn't do tons of seating like areas, we just did one big one, but the chairs can adjust to kind of meet different needs depending on if you're watching a game or just chatting with your friends. So I really loved creating this moment when you walk in so you have a place to hang your coat or set your purse or your bag. I will say I get the itch to switch later and change this up a little bit. I know you're not shocked, so it doesn't stay exactly like this. So stay tuned if you wanna see how it turns out. But now we're gonna move on to the next space, which is this little corner. So it seemed really bare over here and I put the plant and I loved it. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just fluff those leaves a little bit. Anytime you get a faux plant or Christmas tree, you have to do fluffing. The store doesn't do that and they keep it really tight for shipping. So just keep that in mind if you want your pieces to look more realistic. But all I could see was this like oatmeal colored cable <laughs> outlet in the wall, which we did not need anymore. So I asked Chase if he could take care of it. And of course he came to the rescue. So if you have any areas like this, all you have to do is unhook them. Um, especially if you're not using the cords and he's gonna show you how to do it. We did this with, um, it was like a old alarm system above our fireplace. Um, I guess our builder didn't think to take it down before they skimmed the walls. And so we just put a or white plate over it that matches the wall. And now it just looks new and fresh again. I cannot tell you how many white curtains I have bought off Amazon and then sent them back. And every time I buy them, I've needed like, you know, six pairs of them. So I just order them so they won't sell out if I do like them. And when I don't, I send them back. I ended up with these. I think they were the best fit. There's like three different ways you can hang them, which is so helpful. They are really pretty soft white. So I'm gonna link these down below just in case you're looking for a good white curtain. Remember, I do buy really, really long curtains because I like to hang them from the ceiling because they make the space feel larger and we definitely needed that in this space, but I even do it in my other home as well that has tall ceilings. So be sure to check the measurements before you check out and make sure they're gonna work for your space. And now we're gonna move on to hanging the TV. Chase has hung so many TVs in his life. I think he could do it in his sleep. We were worried about these walls just because it's a little bit um, different because it's an older house, but it worked perfectly. It was smooth. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get this hung. We did go with some really large TVs because Walmart was having a sale and it just worked out perfect. We got bigger TVs for a smaller price. So you gotta love the holiday time with all the Black Friday sales. <laughs> Now it's time to hang the new light in your living room. If you haven't updated your lights in a while, that can really, really update your space. 
And thanks to Amazon, you guys can get some really good deals. Obviously this isn't sponsored, I just shop Amazon a lot. That's where we bought this light and you're gonna see here in a little bit when it's finished, it really does just like bring the whole space together. It updates the look makes it more trendy or whatever vibe you're going for. But while Chase is working on that, I'm gonna start another project, which were these like air vents in the ground. They just looked so old. And then we had the wall skimmed and painted. So they were just super dirty, but I didn't wanna go buy all new ones for the house. So I'm gonna show you how you can make these look brand new again for like under $5. Now this really wouldn't be a home project decorating video if I didn't have my can of spray paint. I went with matte black because that was kind of the style that we were doing in the house. If you wanna do bronze or silver or white, whatever it is, you can make it look new. So I'm just taking like a flathead screwdriver and I'm just scraping off all that skim coating that had like fallen onto these. Now there is like speckles of it that's okay, it's kind of just kind of help the um, spray paint stick to it. So if it looks like this, I'll show you at the end, it still looks brand new. You don't have to get like every single thing off of it. This project seriously took less than like 10 minutes and I did all of them in the entire house at the same time. I'm just showing you the ones from the living room right now, but they looked so good. I just kept going into the other spaces and grabbing them and cleaning them and spraying them. And I feel like we have all brand new vents in the house and I literally bought a can of spray paint for $5 and I barely used any of it. But I'm gonna show you right here once they dry. Like I said, I chose that matte finish so they're not shiny at all and they just turned out beautifully. Now we're gonna move back to the lighting. So I'm gonna show you what Chase was working on kind of while I was working on the vents. And we went with a lot of black and gold lighting in this house. We just felt like it was super trendy and it would be fun for this home. And I'm so glad we did. Everything's turning out because I can mix like matte black in, but I can also do touches of glam and gold and then the lighting brings it all together. Now let's move on to our next project. This one's super affordable. So if you've been searching Pinterest, everybody has these beautiful photo walls with these black frames. I did a few in my house. I even bought the black frames from Target, but they were like 50 bucks a piece, so it was still pricey. But when we were shopping for this house, we went out of town and went to an Ikea and they have really affordable frames. And then all I do is pick out pictures on Google and I print them in black and white. So this isn't anything special. It's not special paper. It's not special ink. I'm literally just printing pictures on a cheap typing paper and then I tape them in. Now I will say with the Ikea frames, I went to Hobby Lobby and got a different size mat because I didn't want huge pictures. I wanted a little bit smaller ones. So keep that in mind. But if you're on a budget, check out Ikea and then just print your own pictures off the internet. And I promise you once they're framed, no one's gonna know. What I love about this project is you can create your own style. So for this house, we chose Tulsa Landmarks. So people are gonna be coming out of state to stay here and we wanted to just show them places they could visit or just what we're known for. In my current home in our dining space, 
we chose our favorite vacation spot. So we have three spots we love to visit and we got to bring our favorite home away from home into our current home so we could see those every single day. You could also do this with family photos. The options are endless. And just keep in mind, if you already have frames but they're not black or the color you want, just grab that can of spray paint and spray paint them and that'll save you a ton of money too. I mentioned in the very beginning of this video is jam-packed and I'm not lying and now we're moving on to our next project basically when we were having them paint the whole house anytime you have them change paints it's gonna cost you more so to have them paint my fireplace black was just gonna kind of be ridiculous when I could do it myself for way cheaper so I'm gonna definitely use kills first on this um, the paint they had on it before literally peeled off so I'm gonna make sure and just prime it really well so that's why you're gonna see this white paint going on and then we'll pull out the next paint if you've never done a painting project, I would wear painting clothes. I've done a lot of painting so I can be careful. If I was even at home, I would have changed, but I was here like filming decorating videos and I didn't have a change of clothes. So I was just super careful, but I just wanted to put that in there. If you have like a favorite sweater, don't wear it while you're painting with black and white paint. <laughs> So as you can already see, it already looks really good. We could have left this white and it was gorgeous, but we were looking for a definite pop over here since this wall's already so white and so big and like we took out the shelves, there's not much on it. Um, while that white paint or kills was drying, I started to clean out the fireplace itself and you can see it actually had black tile in there. It had some wax. You can tell the previous owner probably had like candles in here. I know a lot of people do that. This isn't a working fireplace and we didn't put the money into it to make it one. Just since it's a short term rental, we really don't want fires inside our old house. So we're just gonna stage it up really well so it looks warm and cozy and inviting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this cleaned up. Now the black painting has begun. I showed a clip of the can in the beginning if you wanna go back and grab a screenshot, but we got limousine leather because we've used that a lot in our current house and really liked it. Um, we went with a matte finish just because we didn't want any shiny black. I feel like shiny black goes super like haunted house and scary. I love the matte black, so that's what we're doing throughout this whole house. And you can see right here, it's the first coat. So it's not perfect, it's still drying, it's gonna need one one more. Typically at this point, I feel like most beginners panic and they think they've ruined something. Go ahead and finish it out. This one only needed two coats. If you grab a cheaper paint, you might need three, but it's gonna come together. I did decide to go ahead and paint the inside of the fireplace so it would match the outside even though it was all the same black. But the only reason I'm doing this is because a real fire is not gonna be going inside of this. So if you put fires inside your fireplace, you're going to need a special paint. So I just wanna make that super clear, huge disclaimer. The only reason I'm using this paint inside this fireplace is because we're not using real fire in it. I am gonna stage it really cute, um, but just keep that in mind if you're gonna be doing this project in your home. Focus on us forever. Yeah, baby. 
another tip if you're doing a painting project, I wouldn't let the paint dry all the way before you take off any of the taping. Like if you taped it out so it wouldn't get on the wall or on the floor. Anytime I've done that, I feel like when I pull it off, it like pulls up some of the paint because it's dried to the tape. So while your paint's a little damp, go ahead and take that tape off. But be careful that that wet tape doesn't like hit the wall or your clothes because it is still wet. It's still drying right here, but you can see it's coming together so well. We didn't end up changing the black tile like in front of it. I was gonna rip it out and put new black tile in, but my builder or contractor didn't know if it would be the same height of the tile, so we didn't want it to have like an edge to it where um, it wasn't level. So we went ahead and just kept it like this. It saved us a ton of money, and honestly, now that the fireplace is white, you really can't tell if the white grout drives you crazy, you could actually get a paint and paint all of this, which I might do one day, but it is coming together. I added the wood, I talked too long, so you guys will see that here in a second. The next project we're gonna work on is our mailbox was on our front door, which I love. We did not wanna get rid of this door. We still need to paint it. It had so much charm, but anybody could open it and see right inside your living room. They could throw anything inside. So I wanted to keep the charm of it. So we put this plate on the inside. So from the outside, you can still open it, but they can't see inside. They can't stick anything in, but it still functions. So I feel like that was a win. Okay guys, this one was a lot of work. It took us a couple days, but I'm gonna show you like the before and afters next to each other so you can see how everything turned out. really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and I hope it keeps like opening your eyes to your space. You constantly see me working in like a new house. You can turn old houses into beautiful homes too. It just takes some elbow grease and some TLC. So I hope these videos help you out. I hope these home projects help you out. If you're new here or haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to join. It's free. It just notifies you anytime I post a video so you don't miss it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I have lots more coming. I think I'm gonna have three videos again next week and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.